morning. I'm Rose Picard. This is Godly Play for Sunday, October 11th. This is the desert. The desert is a dangerous place. There's no food, there's no water. People can die in the desert. When the wind blows, it can change the shape of the desert and you can lose your way. The sun is so hot that people have to wear protection out in the desert to keep the sun from burning their skin. When the wind blows, the sand stings your face and hands. People need protection from the blowing sand as well. At night, it is so cold, you need many clothes to keep warm. The desert is a dangerous place. People don't go there unless they absolutely have to. This is Jerusalem. Here's the wall. This was the city of David, the city of the people of God. Here is Haran, and here is Babylon. Sometimes the people of God forget who they are. They hide from God and pretend that God isn't there. Sometimes they even worship other gods. There are also people who come so close to God and God comes so close to them that they know what God wants them to say and do. These people are called prophets. They know the best way. Men, women, and even children can be prophets. You might be one too. King Solomon was one of those who forgot who he was. So God said he would tear his kingdom in two. The prophet Ahijah showed that God knew this was the best way. He took off his new cloak and he cut it into 12 pieces. 10 pieces were for the tribes that were around the city of Samaria, the capital of the Northern Kingdom and two pieces were for the tribes around Jerusalem, the capital of the southern kingdom. After King Solomon died, Ahijah's prophecy came true, and God sent prophets to both kingdoms. The words of some prophets like Elijah and Elisha have disappeared. They were either lost or they were never written down. Other prophets wrote down what God told them to say, or some of their friends wrote down their words. I want to show you something about the ones who left their words for us. Here are four small scrolls. These scrolls and the words written on them help us to remember. This one is very interesting. It has the writing of 12 prophets on it. They're sometimes called the minor prophets because they didn't leave as many words as the others. This one is called Isaiah, but it really has the writing of three Isaiahs on it. This one is all the words of Jeremiah, and this other one is all the words of Ezekiel. Now let's see what happened. Here's the southern kingdom where Jerusalem is. The prophet Amos, one of the 12 minor prophets, was from the southern kingdom, but God sent him up to the northern kingdom to speak to the rulers. Let me read you something from his scroll. I hate, I despise your feasts, and I take no delight in your solemn assemblies. Take away from me the noise of your songs, To the melody of your harps, I will not listen. But let justice roll down like the waters and righteousness like an ever-flowing stream. Amos spoke for God to the priests and to the king. This is what all the prophets did. Some prophets God sent to the northern kingdom and some stayed in the southern kingdom. I'll put the scroll of the 12 prophets between them to remind you. One day, the northern kingdom was conquered by Azria. Then the Azrians surrounded Jerusalem and the southern kingdom. The people were afraid, but the Azrians went away. 
the first prophet named Isaiah, named Isaiah, who lived in Jerusalem, said that the kingdom would fall, but that a remnant, a few of the people would be saved. But it wasn't the Azrians, but the Babylonians who took the city. And they took all the people into exile. The second Isaiah must have been one of those people who was taken, and he wrote his words in Babylon. He said there would be a highway made straight in the desert, and they would go home one day. He was hopeful. The prophet Jeremiah stayed in Jerusalem. He said that the city would fall, but that the people of Jerusalem would not understand what he was talking about. In time, even Jeremiah left. He and Baruch, his scribe, went to Egypt with others to be safe. He was very sad. Ezekiel wrote in Babylon as well. He was taken away with one of the first groups, even before Jerusalem was torn down. He was a prophet in his new home. He told the people in exile that Jerusalem would be destroyed and that they would not go home soon. After Jerusalem was destroyed, he had visions of hope that they would go home again. They would be like dry bones in a valley that put themselves back together again, turned into people, and walked to their old home to Jerusalem. The third Isaiah was one of the people that did go back to Jerusalem. The people were not really glad to see him and the others who returned. The city was still broken. Many of the walls were still black from the fires the Babylonians had set. This Isaiah helped the people and the priests get ready for a time when they would not have their own king. These are most of the prophets in the Old Testament. We know a lot about them because their words were written down a long time ago. Today, there are still prophets. They speak to the rulers, to the priests, the ministers and rabbis, and to the people. They still say and do what God wants them to. They help all of us know the best way to live and die. Prophets come from all kinds of places and are all kinds of people, just like you. So some of you may become a prophet. I wonder if the prophets in the Bible are all the prophets that we will ever need. I wonder if you know any prophets or if any prophets know you. Thank you for joining me for Godly Play. Have a blessed week.